Welcome back, you got Danita at BootyBands.com. Today we're gonna go all into those toned legs and that round booty that you can do all from home. These are my top favorite exercises, you're definitely gonna feel it. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification of the bell so that you don't miss one of these workouts. All right, let's get started. We're gonna tone those legs. So of course my favorite is the mermaids. So starting off with a nice good warm up. We have the band around your legs, starting with like a level one band. Having the bottom leg on the mat as the top one is just gonna open and close. And if you cannot feel your booty working right now, you just wanna make a little bit of some shift in your feet, just kinda move them around a little bit together so that you can activate the right muscles. The booty muscles. Good work, after a few of those, we're gonna pop up onto the elbow into that bottom leg and then lift and lower. Call this one the flying mermaid, taking it up into the air. Amplifying the core and the waist right here. Getting that nice, good round booty. All from home. Good, then go ahead and switch sides. Lift it up. Awesome, and then go ahead and lay it down to the mat as we're gonna go into those bridges. These are a great one to really tone those legs. So bringing those feet nice and close, the feet are about hip distance apart, and that booty band is going to make it so you're working all three areas of the glutes. So you're going to push those heels into the mat, and then you're gonna take one leg at a time, lift it up, and then drop it down. Good, and then from here, you're just gonna lift it up, pulse those legs out, in, and then down. Slow and controlled, and make sure to keep breathing. Good work, let's go ahead and take it into the next level. My favorites is the single leg deadlifts. Now if this is something a little challenging for you to find your balance, the beginner level is you're just gonna hold onto like a wall or a chair for balance as you're gonna go ahead and just use your body weight for the weight and if you are ready to take it to a little more advanced, grab one dumbbell and you're gonna place it in the opposite hand of your front leg. So you're gonna drop it down and squeeze it up. This one is such a great one for really clearing out the cellulite in the back of the legs as you start to build that lean muscle and definitely get more toned and it's gonna get that booty nice and round. Keep that dumbbell nice and close to your legs. It's gonna be a lot better on your back if you keep the weight closest to the center line of your body. The knee is slightly bent in that front leg. Just see, so feel a nice good stretch. You're going about to your shins, mid shin, and then back up. Allow your booty to do the work as you push the heel into the mat. Nice, good flat back. Everything is nice and stiff on the top portion of your body. Don't let any of your upper body do any of the movement, just the lower body. When you're ready, switch legs. Thank you. 
So imagine just there's a straight line from your head all the way to your tailbone, and that is super straight. Beautiful, the last one you can do either on your bed, a couch, or like a chair at home, or if you have a bench, this is a great one to really um, build and uh, bubble that booty. So you're just going to sit down onto the mat, grab your weight, place it up onto your hips, walk your feet up, press that back into the bench, and so that your bra strap is on the bench, you're gonna just make it so that your pelvis is tilted up and then your chin is tucked down to your chest. You're gonna drop just a few inches, squeeze up with your, your chin still to chest, and then back down. <sighs> Dig those heels into the mat and push those legs against the band so that you're working all three glutes. I should say glute muscles, right? You have one glute. <laughs> Good, and just to really final out this one right here, I'm gonna leave it up at the top. You can pulse out with a band, or you can pulse up, whatever your choice, give me some nice pulses. All right, so that was our warm up. Let's go ahead and get started by adding some more weight onto the next round. You choose your weight, whatever works for you. This can be, whether you're a beginner or advanced, really works for you. So you can always stick to what we were just doing right now with a level one band, or we can start going into the higher level bands and a lot heavier weight. Just make sure your form is perfect. That will be the key. All right, second round, let's go. Party with me. Take it up. Good, switch sides. Take it up. Next one are those bridges. booty's on fire, give it a little bit of a rest, grab some water. If you're ready to keep going, let's party. Core's nice and tight, that weight is nice and close to your body. This is what's gonna define the back of your legs right here. Slight bend in that front knee. 
Remember to keep that head in alignment with the body, so no bending of the neck, no looking side to side or up and down, just straight forward. Oh, my booty's feeling this. All right, great work. Let's switch to the other leg. Slightly shaken. You're doing good, stay strong. Almost done with the second round. Remember, if you're ready for that third round to come join us in the Booty Bands and Barbells app, or like and subscribe so you can get more notifications of these workouts and all the giveaways. Just the same as we did before with the dumbbells. Now you can see how we can do it with the barbell. Awesome, hold it up at the top, little pulses. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do the third round, advancing to the level three booty band and heavier weight. If you're ready to do it with me, make sure to just click the link below, join the Booty Bands and Barbells app where you're gonna get your booty buddy and the whole community so that you can do this together with our community. So thanks you guys so much. See you in the app. Bye.